Hi everyone, it's Whitney. Welcome back to the channel. So today you guys, I have this completed rhinestone diamond painting that I want to share with you all. Before I get started y'all, I definitely want to apologize for this video being late. Yesterday was my birthday you guys. I definitely wanted to do this video. I tried to do it but with family coming over and it being hectic and it was just loud in the house because we're all celebrating so i was not able to get this video done in time i definitely apologize y'all for it but it's better late than never i guess because i am here today to show you this kit another thing to note is that i have a very small desk so i will put this kit down and bring the camera down later at the end of the video and show you the kit out all the kit as well so you can see the whole thing and this is also my diamond painting monthly theme. I have monthly themes for every month of the year for 2021 and the month of May, the theme was my choice or your choice if you were in on the themes. So I just picked whatever I wanted to pick. And I did have something else in mind, you guys. I'm not even gonna sit here and lie to you to do for the um, theme for the month but it just didn't work out like i got this kit in the mail i absolutely loved it and i'm like i gotta do it for my birthday and for my um you know just to get it done because it's rhinestone and it's unique and it's my style i absolutely love this so i just had to get this done so i literally stopped everything i was working on to do this you guys so i hope you guys love this kit as much as i do and also my themes for the month are always listed down in the description box if you want to check them out. So this kit is from got to dot and here is their website right here. Do not worry y'all, I will have it linked down below and I also will link this kit below. And this is a 40 by 40 centimeters, 34 colors you guys. And here's the image and this is called Beach Girl on their website and I love it you guys the sparkle oh it is so just captivating i really love this a lot and i kind of wish i had this for my um you know in march because one of my monthly well my monthly theme for march was gold and the gold in this kit y'all is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous i love it so much i really really do y'all so with this kit being a 40 by 40, I think it is the perfect size. It has amazing detail. The rendering on this kit was excellent. The render, I mean the render, the thumbnail in the corner is exactly what this is. Nothing looks different. The colors are very similar to that. But I will say the girl on the website does have freckles on her face and this girl here does not. So there was no places to put her freckles or no colors for that but I'm fine with it I really love her skin being absolutely smooth so very very happy with that and with this kit being 34 colors I did think that was a little much that is a lot of colors for a 40 by 40 but now that it's all done I think it was well worth it all the colors blend beautifully together this pink up here flower I love how the light part of the flower is and then the dark part is like behind it very very pretty I like the yellow in her hair too and I don't know if y'all can tell but in this yellow here there was two different colors of yellow that were very similar and I'm just now noticing on camera that the yellows are different because I'm telling you guys when I worked on this I thought those two yellows that were there were the same color yellow and I thought I was getting played for a second but I wasn't y'all it is two different colors I now see that and I love it. it it blended beautifully together and I love her earrings y'all they're so adorable oh I just love them and the fact that she's looking out at like a beach or something like oh my god y'all I just wish I was where she was right now um, one of the issues I, I kind of had but not really is with her skin tone if you look at this um, here her skin tone is a lot way, way, way lighter than her hair. But looking at the kit, her skin tone is similar to her hair. It's not the same color. It does look different, but it is very similar. What I'm thinking is going on here is that her skin is like this from the tan of being at the beach. So I'm not mad at it. I love it. I really do. 
Her lips are absolutely just, oh, they're so hilarious. It's like she's giving a pucker, you guys, from drinking a, a margarita or something. And with her lips, too, I did finish the kit with her lips last because I was working, like, in this area. And I went around her lips and literally did them last, y'all. I did. Oh, another thing, too, before I forget, you guys, um, Got to Dot has a sale right now. And this kit is on the site. I think it's, no, I know, it's $25. It's on sale for $25. I ended up paying full price for this, which was $28 because I got it, obviously, when there was no sale. But now there is, so if you want to save yourself some money, I would say go on the site now, check this out, check out other kits. They have a wide range and a wide variety of different things on their site. And I did leave a review up on their site, but unfortunately, I was not able to add the picture of this. So hopefully, if they're watching, they'll fix that um, on their site so that when someone reviews something, that they can put the picture on there because they have the image on there and then they have the image without the diamonds on it. But this image is absolutely beautiful and I would have loved to put this on their website. So hopefully, like I said, they get something where they can um, fix that um, setting or something on their site. So there is some pros and some cons to this kit. So we're going to get into the cons first and then we'll get into the pros and then I will show you the kit all in one setting at the end of the video like I said earlier one of the cons you guys is that there was no inventory sheet now I particularly am not someone who cares about an inventory sheet I really don't even care about this here I go buy this when I kit up after I kit up I don't even really refer to this anymore or the inventory sheet if there was one so I'm just making that as a note for someone who loves to have an inventory sheet this kit did not come with one Another thing is that the canvas is not as soft as, you know, some of, you know, the more expensive sites. But like I said in my unboxing, it does not matter to me. I'm fine with this canvas being like this. And this also is not as rough as some of the ones I get from my smaller companies. But it's also not that soft feel. You know what, now that I'm thinking, it kind of is giving me like Diamond Art Club feel. So if you know, not Diamond Art Club, y'all, Diamond Dots. So if you know what um, Diamond Dots canvases kind of feel like, that's what it kind of feels like. And one of the last things about one of the cons is that I had popping drills. And with this canvas and any other canvas that I've worked on that has these rhinestones, I always have the issue of a popping drill but once I finished it and I took my roller and I rolled everything down and I mean I rolled this canvas y'all I mean I put my little roller on here very hard nothing popped off but I heard everything you know pushing down on the canvas and this canvas was really sticky so I have no idea why they were popping I don't know if it's that was because me working on them or something like that but the drills were popping, but once I have finished, it did not do that anymore. So very happy with that as well. On to the pros, you guys. I had tons, tons, tons of leftover diamonds. Like I had way more than I needed. So if I wanted to fix anything or change anything, I was able to go back and do that. Or if I didn't like where something was placed and I wanted to place something else, I had no issue doing that as well. The canvas, like I said earlier, is very detailed. I'm here for it. What you're seeing, like I said, in camera is what you're seeing in person. Getting closer to this canvas, it, it looks great. And getting further back, it looks great. So that's always a plus. So you don't have to get far away to see this. Like you can see this just by looking at it up close. I did have a ton of fun, you guys, working on this canvas. I really, really, really did. I was not bored at all. Even with all these yellows and golds and stuff, I thought I would be bored with it, but I was not. I had so much fun because the stick was great. And that's one of the major things that is why I had so much fun. I didn't have any issues. And another thing is that around the canvas itself, like around the whole border, the sticky part is not down far. And a lot of my canvases, when I'm diamond painting and I'm working and I'm like this I'm always sticking to the canvas so I didn't stick to this one at all 
You can tell I didn't stick to it because none of it's dirty, so that, that's really good. And of course, y'all, like I said earlier too, the sparkle, oh, it's just amazing. I would say this kit is like a must have. I'm very, very happy with it, y'all. And I love the, um, all the lines in her hair, like to, I guess, section it off or the streaks or whatever. I love that as well. So that is pretty much it, you guys, for this review. So I'm going to go ahead now and switch the camera down so you guys can see the kit all out. And yeah, so I will be right back. Alrighty, you guys. So there is the kit. Oh my gosh, it is beautiful, you guys. This the sparkle on this, the gold. Like, wow. I am so happy with this kit. And they do have a similar one that's kind of my style on their site called Party Gal, I believe. So I might go on there and get that one since it is on sale and do that one as well. But I am very happy with my purchase. But that is it, you guys, for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, I am sorry that the video is late, but thank you guys for watching my channel. Do not forget to like, comment, share my videos. Most importantly, you guys, hit that subscribe button, and I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye!